Let's get into it. The first thing I want you to actually practice is actually what you know how to do. Now, it kind of seems, well, what do you mean? Well, let's say you have a worksheet. Let's say you have a homework assignment. And you let's say you go to class or and you're like, or you watch a video and you're like, hey, I understand this. I know how to do that. Right. And then you have maybe like 10 examples and you look at them and you're like, oh, those are easy. I already know how to do those. So I'm not going to do them. Right. Pretty familiar. I've been there again myself. And I think that's a very, very dangerous place to be able to be. Because when you, one of the things about learning math is you, is you have to put in, you know, put in the work, even the work that you know how to do. And the, the best analogy that I can put to this is like free throw shooting in basketball, right? It's not like they make a free throw. Oh, I'm done, right? I know how to do a free throw. No, if you're going to be good, right, at free throw shooting, you know, in a game, when clutch time, when it counts, is you have to shoot over and over and over. They know how to shoot a free throw. You know how to do a lot of math problems. But continuously doing those problems that you know how to do or that you think you already know how to do is going to help refine, obviously, that little memory, that muscle memory inside of your brain. Um, and then also, a lot of times, um, I think students think like, oh, I already know how to do this. But the thing is, a lot of times the problems like in a book or in a worksheet, they're designed kind of on purpose to kind of lead you in a certain direction. And when you do those problems that you think are, oh, they're just too easy, I don't need to do these, what, it, what inevitably happens is you, you're going to start making connections. You're going to start seeing things that you never would have done unless you would have actually done the problems. You're going to see how problems are more connected um, than you actually initially thought. So. That's the first practice. Definitely making sure that you are doing the problems that you um, <clears throat> that you know how to do. The next set of problems, is, or the next type of practice that I think is very important, is practice what <laughs> practice. What was I? What did I say? Um, practice correctly. And you might say, "Well, of course I'm going to practice correctly." But it, but being a teacher for 14 years, there was countless, countless many times I remember students turning in homework, or even I remember too, you know, being a student as well, turn, oh, I did my homework, and I look at it and it's like, it's completely wrong. I mean, what, you, you literally just wasted all of your time copying this assignment or whatever you did, putting this in. Like, there's no point in doing something completely wrong, right? I mean, the only reason why you have homework, the only reason why you're doing practice in class is to refine those skills. So if you don't know how to do it, that's perfectly fine but you don't want to fake it, right? Because again, what's going to happen is you're eventually going to get exposed. And if you remember my, you know, one of my parts of my story is that's what happened. I started faking it that I knew what I was doing. And I kept on going through math class to math class to math class, faking it, trying to, you know, pretend that I knew how to do the math. And guess what? I didn't know how to do the math. And eventually it came in pre-calculus where I got exposed. I had to, you know, um, had to face the fact that I didn't really know my math as well as I should have. And that was kind of the start of my, you know, math teaching journey. So when you know, don't know how to do something, you know, get help. Go to, come online, come on Sunday night, submit a question, right? Go to Discord, go online, get help, tutor, you know, work with other students, you know, search online. Like, I mean, there's so many resources that you guys have. And I know it's more time and I know it's more frustrating. I know it's more stressful, but um, you got to make sure that you're doing it correctly. Because otherwise you're just wasting you're just wasting your time, and the last one is practice to challenge yourself. And you might say, well, how am I going to? Well, again, every problem you're doing, I mean, there's if you're just doing always if you're always doing the problems that you know how to do, and you're always checking your answers. Well, again, like you know, you're 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 not going to make any gains in in getting better at math, right? Because the thing is, get better at math. It's not just like coast in math. Like, and hey, if you just want to coast in your math class, then that's probably going to be good enough. Right? But if you want to get better at math, then work on the problems that are going to be challenged. Right? Look to your, I guarantee your teacher has problems that are going to be a little bit more challenging. I guarantee a book that you're working on it is going to be more challenging. I guarantee there are websites and um, resources out there that have more challenging problems in whatever topic that you are learning. And, you know, again, another analogy to look into is like, you know, when you look into weightlifting. Obviously, if you're just doing the same weight every single time, you're never going to go ahead and um, get any bigger. You have to go ahead and challenge yourself um, for that. So those are the three things. It is a practice, practice, practice. But I really do want you guys to look into those three different things. you got to practice what you know how to do over. It's boring. It's not fun. It's repetition. There's a lot of worksheets that I gave my students that was 140 questions. And it was fractions, stuff they knew how to do, right? But it was that part of that practice that they had to go through for them to really, um, to really get that confidence that what they needed. Um, 
there, uh, the next thing is the, again, making sure you're doing it correctly. Um, that's why I give my students all my answers, you know, and all my work. So therefore I, I didn't have to worry about that. And then also the challenge. And that's another thing that, you know, there's a lot more resources um, for you guys on that.